Hey guys, hope you're all doing well and welcome back. Let's continue our uh, Ruski campaign, beating up on Ming. Just feels so good. It feels so good. Look at that. Medium war enthusiasm. The war started this year, and I'm already sitting on his capital. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love killing the Ming. Uh, we won Yongzhao. Yongzhao. I don't know how to pronounce that. I apologize if there's any... Chinese followers or anybody who's Chinese savvy who thinks I sound like a retard when I'm t saying this stuff because I am a retard when I say this stuff All right Now we just got to keep sieging him Because we we 100% pieced him so all we want to do is white piece him. Yes, actually we'll We'll take all his money That sounds pretty good. We'll take all his money Now we just need to make sure we focus on getting all these sieges taken care of. Uh, I mean, I suppose this is a good excuse to get some uh, some legitimacy. A little bit of uh, absolutism. Six, actually, I think is what that adds up to be. Very good. And then we're taking all their forts, so... They really have no chance at all. Like, it's not gonna... They're, they're done. Um, there we go. Continue to siege them down. Eastern Seaboard is mine. Alright, continue to uh, convert provinces. Very good. Let's get on their capital. Let's get a new leader over here. I haven't even seen a Ming army yet. They're just over here sieging down this... Their entire army, just sieging down that one fort. Meanwhile, their... Their ally and their emperor is... Getting slaughtered. Alright. I'll peace you out. And that actually cuts our... Our truce timer down pretty substantially, I believe. 99, so it's 9 years. Nah. So it would have been 15, I think. So, very good. Let's see here. What's your tech? 22 and I'm 23. And might be a pretty good fight. Alright, so let's get you guys joined up over here. And get you guys up there. Yan. So why do we have separatists? And they don't. Bummer. Yin Wang. Yeah, they really don't have any unrest. I don't get it. Oh, actually, let's get you guys just split over here. There we go. I'm not too concerned about... Um, so let's get you guys up here, see if we can catch him. Ideally, we're gonna kill those. Kill them. Um, let's get you. No stack white, but, um, no points, please. I'm not sure where they would be going. I guess I don't need to use up all these mill points on force marching. So let's see here. What do we need? Honestly, I'm, I'm leaning towards just literally taking everything up to the mountains. So like everything down here. So it looks like Trans or Tang is at war with Caradel. Okay. Um, so let's take all these. Let's let's start off with the states. So we will take all the states up here. Anything that we can take the full state, we're gonna do it. Um, this up here. This one. All of that. All of this. That, all of this. Oh, this is easy. Okay. We can almost full annex them. Well, that's pretty good. Alright, well now we just need to siege down a bunch of their provinces, right? In that case, if that's the case. Oh, Caradel will probably peace out. Very good. So let's actually just give you, you have me, give me war reps and we might be able to actually peace out now. 
Integration is a slow process. It actually gives us a border with Hungary as well. A little bit of border gore over here, but I'm gonna let it slide. Let's take these two as well. Um, let's take that fort, actually. I'm fine with that, and just like that, Oriad is gone. Gone, completely. Just in time, too, because now we are over on Miltech, or over on admin points, I should say. Not Mil, I'm retarded. And we're not even overextended. Absolutism is so OP. All right, and we have one more who I assume has some rebels? Daytong? Oh, I'll just give that to my, my client state. Very good. Cool. Well, that was easy. Um, let's see here. Mamluks won't help them, so let's just let's just imperialism them. Ruski China, why are you? What in the world? You gotta. Here we go. Is this not cored up already? He's still working on corn a lot of this stuff. Currently turning it into a core. Okay, so I'll just core up some of his stuff after it's done. <clears throat> Let's suppress some rebels for him. Just so we don't have to worry about them. And then we should probably get a stack up there as well. Looks like this stack is the one that's coming over here, so... I guess I, if I wanted to, I could... Oh, Ming wouldn't help him. Feels bad, man. Um, Alright, let's get you guys up here. Siege down Korchin. Full annex them. I'll probably vassalize Korea. Um, I think this is the Korean border today. Right along there. Um, we'll lose some admin points. I, I don't care a whole lot, necessarily. Um, yes. Just making these borders look pretty. Honestly, we're, we're close to being done. As sad as that sounds, this series is almost over. Um, I mean, like I said, after you finish, after you get absolutism, it's, it's kind of game over, honestly. Um, I would like to be able to see these provinces because I do want to get Alaska because that is historically. Also, I think I have to get this island as well. I think it's technically the top half. Mm, maybe they owned it. I know in World War II they owned the first top half, but it's fine. It'd be cool to like have a client state in Japan and stuff like that. And like clean up these borders in China. So, if you guys got some suggestions for what you'd want to see moving forward with this series, assuming we do keep going, I'm interested in hearing. I, you know, I'm loving the series. So, if you want to keep doing it, we'll keep doing it. Um, Ruski China will gain a good general or a decent general. Fifty ducats in manpower. Yeah, that's fine. Take some, take, take some ducats and some manpower. Get you guys siege down fully. Very good. Easy peasy. So, full annex you. Um, don't want to go over on my overextension though. Um, I think we're gonna hold off on mill so we can get that. Get the uh, the new tactics. Always waiting. Tactics are all, they're too good to not, to, to not wait for. <clears throat> are you cored up yet? You are. Very good. You can't resist it, man. I'll dev you up and you will love me. Dang it. Alright, um... 17, can we actually afford that? I think we maybe can. Ooh, it's very close. Super close, actually. We'll just take it. We're not gonna get any rebels to worry about. When's our truce with Korea up? Pretty soon, I'm hoping. We lost the Siege of Ryazan, huh? 
What's this about? You jerk. So we don't have a truce with them. Ming would defend them though. Which is kind of annoying. But uh... Whatever. I guess it's a good way of truce breaking with um... With them. So we'll do Imperialism. Get a half stack over here, a half stack over there. Get you guys over here. Get you guys over here. Let's get a uh, siege guy over there. You guys don't have to have a leader. Uh, well, actually, I'll put a leader on this one. Oh, nope. Oh, ugh, dang it. B. B is the button I was looking to hit. So we're going to... Oh, wow. It's a lot of trade power in Moskva. The thing is, is like, I don't really need it. Because I'm only collecting here. And I'm collecting basically all of it. So... Um... Yeah. I don't know. Let's see here. Um... Yeah, I think we're just gonna we're good. So let's let's get that Ford upgraded and then let's get one. Is that worth it? I don't know. Probably not. I mean, he is a March though, so he's got some forts already. He's good. Let's get a couple more over here, just for um, these annoying little provinces over here. Um, let's get one. Gonna have to put one right there. That will reach the water here, and these two will reach each other. Let's upgrade that one, and that one, and that one. Put one there. Put one there. <laughs> just basically just fort up all of that stuff. Because when we fight them, it's going to be a battle of attrition. So, Oria is over here still. So, how's Ming's army looking? Pitiful. Oh, so pitiful. I love it. I love it. Okay, where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Where's your money? Okay, so he still doesn't have a whole lot of debt, but he is, he's never going to have mandate again, so. Gain a free general with 20 tradition. Sounds good. Is he any good? He is. We'll keep him. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Cossacks aggression. aggression. Very good. So we're just sieging them down. To be honest, I might actually peace out, like take land from Ming in this one. Siege down their capital already. So just spreading them out. Get you guys spread out, start sieging them down. All right, very good. Get you guys siege down over here. Uh, so separatists for Chagatai. You know, Uzbek, you, you gotta submit, man. You need to, it's gonna happen. He's just over here sieging down my, <laughs> my forts and I'm just letting it happen because I'm lazy. I need to be at peace, so I'm gonna have to peace out Chagat or um, him and then Uzbek and then have him get on to my uh I gotta get rid of the rebels. And then I'm that way I can give this some of the land in China to my uh my dude my uh client state. My bad, I'm like tongue tied. I don't know why. So I just get these guys all spread out over here. I don't know how, but it, I'm having a really hard time getting a Ming explosion to happen. All right, <clears throat> so he'll he'll just surrender sometime soon. So you are going to return all of your land to him that he's going that what? He just doesn't have cores randomly on these two. Okay, well, I suppose I can take them. I feel like he should take them. It's actually stayed up some stuff. Crimea is a good one. Uh, Mazovia is here. 
Um, you tr what is the what? Y R T. Okay, cool. Why is it? Oh, Uzbek has cores on that. Okay, cool. So get you there. Get you guys there. And then keep on making our way down. Siege them down. And just continue to um, gobble up Korean land. Uzbek's going to peace out here soon. Very good. Thank you, sir. Was a pleasure. And now there's Uzbek separatists over here, but my men will take care of them for me. My uh, vassals, which is nice. Appreciate that. Um, Ming. I mean, we totally could. I don't think it's worth it at this point because at this point, I feel like land concessions is probably better. Ho hot. Hey, there was a restaurant in the town I went to grad school in called Ho hot. Um, so you are going to what? Why? Hello? Okay, whatever. So let's just take some stuff along here. Where's the state? Oh, it's right there. Okay, so we definitely want to take up that and then this and then this over here and then that. We're already at war, so we might as well make it count, right? So get you guys down here, get you guys spread out over here in the Canton region. And then get you guys down here. I wonder how much war score he's gonna need me to have to take what I'm looking for. To be honest, I don't know how he has such how I have such low war score with him right now. Come on now. Siege it down, baby. There we go. Cool. Let's get up here. I don't want him to take his capital back. The more war score that I get, the better. Oh, it's because all their development is like up in this area. Well, not all, but a ton of it. Stack wipe on that one. And then a stack wipe over here, maybe? Very good. Alright, let's actually just cut these guys up a lot. Very good. Just sieging down Ming. Uh, okay. It's kind of dumb. I feel like that's a little unnecessary. Alright. Finishing up. I assume that after we siege down most of the stuff over here, China will... They'll capitulate and allow us to take what we're looking for. Um, half off Diplo rep guy. Yeah, that's fine with me. In fact, I will hire him and give him a bonus. Uh, we'll take that. Sounds good to me. Put down a couple of rebels here. Get a little bit of absolutism. I know I have a military idea. I don't care. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. Got some rebels down here, though. Definitely gonna need to take care of those. Ming, will you will you peace out? No, not even really close, honestly. Okay, so you guys need to come up here. You guys need to group up here. We need to come over here and take care of these rebels, otherwise they're going to cause me a headache. So I can't send my vassals to specifically target those. So that's a bummer. So... Ming, you... You're... There we go. 
That's fine with me. So, and then Korea will peace out as well. I guarantee it. Um, so I need to get up here actually, because I have a lot of overextension now, but it doesn't matter a whole lot because I'm just gonna give all that land over to my vassal. So what I need to do is I need to siege this down and then put give this to Jonzu. Um, and then you'll give all that land to him. And then you will also be my vassal. Ooh, they don't want to be my vassal yet. Well, that's fine. They eventually will be. What kind of ideas do you have anyways? Decent ones? They have offensive espionage. Quantity and offensive, that's pretty good. Um, tech cost, national manpower, idea cost, infantry combat ability. Okay, so they're, they're probably a decent vassal. No religious ideas or anything like that, but that's all right. It's all good. Um, so let's just keep our truce low then. When would this truce be up? So nine years, very good. So that restores his borders. He might actually form Manchu now, for all I know. An Indian trade company, huh? No, I need to give all this land. Actually, why don't I click that button and then give all that land to him? Yes, now I give the land to him. And he cores it all up and saves me the admin. I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't need the admin points. I've had a surplus for the last like 20 years. But, it's all good. Less coring I have to do, right? Um, I'll, I'll keep some of it that I took. Um, so let's get you guys over here and get you guys down here. We need to take care of these rebels ASAP. Let's get you guys over there. Good thing we have lots of border uh, forts now. All right, that'll do it for this one. I'm gonna wrap up um, these rebel issues and uh, I'll bring you guys back for the next one. So if you wanna keep up to date with what's going on on the channel, I encourage you to join the Discord. It's a great community and I love hanging out with you guys there. If you guys want to show some support, leave a like on the video. And if you want to see more of this, you can subscribe. And if you ding the bell, it'll actually send you a notification every time I upload. And that's the best way to keep up to date with what's going on on the channel. With all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.